Cody to Jughead, this actor makes all our lives sweeter. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Cole Sprouse moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at all of the sides of this actor that show off his unique wit and charm. We're basing our choices on a mix of great roles, cheeky humor, and the relationships that make him as admirable as he is relatable. Number 10. Jughead Eats a Burger <coughs> Despite being famous for his love of burgers in the comics, Jughead spends more time typing than eating in Riverdale. With fans upset about the change, Cole Sprouse and Netflix's response is a whole glamour shoot around hamburgers. Rather than fan service, however, the video is very tongue-in-cheek with its style and acting. All the bizarrely sexual poses and romantic lighting come off as hilariously goofy. Sprouse even cuddles and kisses the buns to make sure no viewer doubts his love for burgers. By giving fans exactly what they asked for, to an over-the-top level, producers convey how goofy and self-aware Cole can be. Number 9. Sharing adorable photos from his first Tonight Show appearance This is you and your brother, uh, Dylan Sprouse, on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. And, uh... <laughs> I can't even tell which one is me. When Cole Sprouse came on The Tonight Show to talk about Riverdale, Jimmy Fallon brought up his long history on the talk show. Fallon pulled out stills from Cole's 1999 appearance with Jay Leno, back when he was in Adam Sandler's Big Daddy. While Jimmy tried to make fun of Sprouse's little sketch of Leno, Cole presented a new crayon drawing of Fallon. Yeah, almost 20 years later, I'd love to see it. A little bit better. Thank you, buddy. There it is, right there. The follow-up perfectly countered Jimmy's jokes and showed he wasn't afraid to make fun of himself. Cole not only celebrated two decades on the show, but used the opportunity to make fans laugh. I, like I, I remember my brother, and you can see by, by his posture, uh, he was talking the whole time, and I was actually <laughs> sitting the same way I am right now. <laughs> You now really that, are sitting just that like that. Number 8. His Photography This is what I thought I would be doing for the rest of my life. This is dog photography. Outside of acting, Cole Sprouse is an amazing photographer, no matter what the subject matter is. Sprouse's photos are so impressive, in fact, that he's gotten into professional work for magazines like Elle and Vogue. His at Cole Sprouse Instagram account is full of stunning shots that serve as both personal and portfolio work. He snaps pics of celebrities like Kendall Jenner and Sam Smith. And there was some fruit in the trees, and I said, Kendall, please, could you reach for a fruit? Though the work is beautiful, Sprouse will just as quickly laugh at or nerd out about his snaps, too. With all his amazing photos, however, Cole has an easy backup career lined up. We were caught and released, thanks to uh, some slick talking and me looking plucky and naive which has gotten me farther than one would think. Number 7. His Milo Thatch Costume Before he took on the character of Jughead, Cole knocked us out with a Milo cosplay from Atlantis The Lost Empire. For his 2015 Halloween costume, Sprouse donned the iconic jacket and oversized glasses of the underrated Disney hero. Oh, this was my Halloween costume. I was uh, Milo from Atlantis. He also offered some steamier photos of Milo's tank top look while he thumbed through books. Cole even claimed to be super proud of the costume, after all the time he put into making it right. Having studied archaeology in real life, Sprouse could act out the character with ease. Given his looks and brains, Cole's Milo outfit has us hoping for a live-action Atlantis more than ever. I was very proud of my costume because I had spent a lot of time on it. Number 6. His Romance with Lily Reinhardt Do you have a favorite Bughead moment from this, from this season so far? <laughs> <laughs> That's it? Uh, Go? Uh, Go ahead. As cute as Betty and Jughead are as Bughead on Riverdale, Cole Sprouse and Lily Reinhardt have their own unique relationship off-screen. Rather than their coupling being a simple extension of their acting, the couple are genuinely adorable with each other in interviews. Their romantic energy comes out in tons of longing looks during press tours, along with lots of playful mocking. Reinhardt and Sprouse never get too over the top with PDA, however, and instead praise each other's wholesome qualities. 
Their Instagrams are also full of dozens of adorable pics of them, solo and together. With all the playful love between the two, Cole and Lily are totes awesome. Number 5. His Childhood Crush on Jennifer Aniston Before he made a name for himself on Zack and Cody, Cole was Ross's son Ben on Friends. When's my daddy coming back? 52 minutes. <laughs> in a talk with Stephen Colbert, Sprouse made a quick remark about falling in love with Jennifer Aniston on set. That's when I fell in love with her, yeah. <laughs> really? You had a little crush on Jennifer Aniston? Didn't everybody? When Colbert pushed him on it, Cole revealed that the crush made him forget many of his lines with Aniston. To make matters worse, a cameraman apparently announced Sprouse's feelings to the entire set at the time. One of the crew members, it was one of the cameramen, you guys know who you are. Uh, just goes, that little boy's got a crush! <laughs> Broke me. Sprouse's honesty and humor simultaneously surprised and endeared us to him throughout this surprisingly candid interview about his past. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember feeling so, so intimidated by my, by my crush on her that I completely blanked and forgot every single one of my lines and she just stared at me and was waiting. Number 4. His Role on Riverdale after his long break from the limelight, Cole Sprouse has become a national treasure once again as the aforementioned Jughead on Riverdale. It's just that sometimes when people do nice things for me, I short circuit. Breaking from the classic role of the comedic food lover, Sprouse brings an edgy and political side to the character. Cole also lends a lot of melodrama to the role, what with his endless movie references. As the godfather of, of, of indie cinema, Quentin Tarantino likes to say, Please, God. No more Quentin Tarantino references. His Jughead consistently feels distinct and believable, while many other roles have changed just to fit storylines. Throughout his narration and acting, Sprouse's complex anti-hero keeps Riverdale interesting and helped the character become relevant to a new generation. It's the calm before the storm, the summer before your junior year in high school. And how do you spend it? Working some brutal summer job that actually makes you look forward to going back to school. Number 3. His Bromance with KJ Appa Just like their on-screen personas, Cole Sprouse and KJ Appa are heartwarmingly goofy friends in real life. Appa is a self-professed Sweet Life fan and talks to Cole about his favorite episodes. He has yeah. his eagle, he has his eagle, he has his eagle. Yeah. And he's standing on the balcony and he sets it free. And I just remember watching that episode like, I had this, uh, and you cried, he was crying, his mom was there, I was just, that was my favorite, and I, I told you that was my favorite episode. <laughs> the duo do tons of press for the show together, and always end up giggling or fist bumping. Sprouse also suggests that their off-screen bromance hurts the more tense moments between Archie and Jughead. It is kind of hard because KJ and I really, really get along off-screen, and I think that also bleeds through quite a bit. Cole is always mocking Appa's New Zealand slang and the pair often bust up laughing at questions about each other. Eraser. Rubber. Rubber. You're right, that's what it's made of. <laughs> More than anything, KJ and Cole know each other's personalities well enough to put their Riverdale characters to shame. This is like a test of true friendship. This is the stupid. He's got it, too. he's got it, he's got it. <laughs> yeah, he's got it, he's got it, he's got it. <laughs> he's got it. <laughs> stupid laughing he it. cat. <laughs> Number two, his role on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Cole's big break as a young actor came through that role on The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. This is how you separate a pie from its pan. <laughs> as Cody, Cole played the smart counterpart to the silly antics of his twin, Dylan. The two brothers had great comedic timing, while they also showed off great physical humor. Dylan and Cole's chemistry drove the show while highlighting the differences between their roles. I took three showers before I came here. Wow, that's more than you take in a month. <laughs> Don't push me, box boy. I've been to the edge of the abyss and back. You can't imagine the things I've seen, the things I've done. As brainy as Cole made Cody, he was always great at being equally silly when the show needed it. With their additional mature roles on the subsequent Sweet Life on deck, the Sprouse twins left us ready for another series. Nothing I ever do seems good enough. It's not always easy being compared to you. Before we get to our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. I love you, Mom. You are the best. You're better than all the rest. And if anyone ever takes us apart, I'd repeatedly stab them in the heart. <laughs> Cole. Cole. Cool, old, legendary, everyman.
Number one, his Twitter. Honey, you need to rest. Stay out of this, Mom. <laughs> While many actors take their off time to relax, Cole Sprouse keeps fans entertained with his amazing tweets. Cole has tons of great social media wisdom, but he's at his best when making fun of his brother Dylan. While Cole's burns are often savage, Dylan usually ends up turning all the twin jokes back at him. The brothers also make lots of self-referential digs at their time as Zack and Cody, whether it's about the show or each other. Along with some self-deprecating photos, Cole uses his Twitter to promote his feminist beliefs too. All his wholesome messages and antics have us hanging on to Cole's every post. Yeah. I believe you did. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.